Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Vincent Augustine. Thanks to Efia from University of Ghana, Legon, for requesting for videos on limit of trigonometric functions. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and you have not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the mathematics community. Now, in this lesson, we are going to find the limit of trigonometric function without using Opita's rule. And this is the simple question that we have on the board. Very, very simple as that, right? That's good. Now, let's put in zero and see what we get. We are going to get one minus cosine of zero is one divided by zero squared is zero. So this will give us zero divided by zero, which is indeterminate. Now, how do we do this one? Okay, let's see. Since you are not going to use Jupiter, we know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is equal to 1. And that sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of x. Wow. And that sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine of x times 1 plus cosine of x. Note, this is for difference of two squares. If you have a squared minus b squared, you get a a minus b times a plus b. Wow, that's very good. And remember that Cosine squared of x is the same as cosine of x all squared. So if we use 1 minus cosine of x all squared, that is what we get here. And 1 squared is 1. So this is our a and this is our b. So we can use difference of two squares. That's good. Now, what do we do again? This implies that we have sine squared of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x to be equal to 1 minus cosine of x. Wow. Now let's proceed. Now we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0, we have sine squared of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x as our 1 minus cosine of x divided by x squared. Good. This is the same as the limit as x approaches 0 sine of x all squared Divide by 1 plus cosine of x divided by x squared. We have division here, so let's turn it upside down to get times 1 on x squared. Wow. So this will give us the limit as x approaches 0 sine of x times sine of x divided by x this one to divided by x we have x squared here okay let me do it step by step so that it will be more it will be easier yeah it will be easier for us to absorb so let's bring the core to so here we take the limit as x approaches 0, sine of x times sine of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x times 1 on x times 1 on x. Wow! That is 1 on x times 1 on x will give us 1 on x squared. So, you get the limit 
as x approaches 0, sin x divided by x times sine of x divided by x times 1 on 1 plus cosine of x. That is very, very simple. Note. Let's say that we have 3 times 3 divided by 1 plus 4 times 1 on 2 times 1 on 2. You see that we are multiplying. So since we are multiplying, this 2 is multiplying everything down here. So you can just take 3 on 2 times 3 on 2 times, then you factorize 1 on 4 to come 1 on 1 plus 4. That's what we've done here. We have 3 times multiplying here, the denominator, and we have 3. So you can just uh, interchange the positions, right? Okay, I think this will work very good. A times B times C divided by M times C times, let's say M times K times F. So you can just interchange the position to get A on F times B on K times, let's say C on M. So that's what we've done here. Now, so this will give us the limit. You are going to use the product rule. As x approaches 0, sine x on x times the limit, as x approaches 0, sine x on x times the limit, as x approaches 0, 1 on 1 plus cosine of x. And this is standard. This will give us 1, that the limit of sine x. On x as x approaches 0 is 1, 2 times 1 times 1 divided by 1 plus cosine of 0. And this will give us 1 times 1 times 1 on cosine of 0 is 1 plus 1 is 2. And that our answer is going to be 1 times 1 times 1 on 2. That is 1 on 2. Thank you for watching. We can use a different approach to simplify the 1 minus cosine of x. But for now, this is what I've done. So if you have any other solution, leave it in the comment section. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Bye-bye.